this is just like the second stage of the game, so we're not we're not spoiling much much of anything. Yeah. I already saw you beat it, so you've already spoiled the game for me. Did I? Did I beat this game? I know I, I know I did the second one for me. Yes, you have. Oh, cool. I mean, whatever. I love this game. Shut up. <laughs> I <laughs> mentioned it all the time. Like, you mentioned it second to Xeno Gears. Like, I'm not even really? kidding. I thought that would have been Mega Man, but sure. Okay, third. Aha! Ah, I got you there. Yeah, hey, you win again, He Man. <laughs> yeah, yes, you win again, Skeletor. Yeah. In the future, Math Blaster had a gritty reboot. This is it. Welcome back, Space Cadets, to Hal and Dave's trip to Jupiter. Where, in the future, we're in the new future. In the future? Apparently. Yeah, sorry, I have to make up for lost time. In the future, Math Blaster was also cancelled. Again. When was Math Blaster? <laughs> um, Math Blaster was like a... It had a bunch of different games on a bunch of different consoles. Don't you mean like PC? Yeah, but there were also <laughs> ones on Nintendo. Oh, by the way, we're getting lore. Lore. Deep lore. Um, we're getting the deepest lore possible, you see. Uh, yeah. So this is one of Hal's favorite games. He has a shrine to it. I'm gonna describe it as Helga Pataki-like. Yeah, dude, I wish I had that shrine. I wish I had a shrine to Blaster Master. As a... <laughs> you just make out with the, like, ball that you have, like, Blaster Master. Uh, hey, part. hey. Uh, her name is Eve, and she's very sensitive about her shape. Eve is a very nice tank <laughs> robot thing. No, no, Eve, Eve is the waifu chain. The tank is named Sophia. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> she's a strong, independent tank that don't need no man. <laughs> Strong, independent tank. So, so anyways, this business with uh, Jason finding a frog. That, uh, as far as I understand it, the Japanese NES version of Blaster Master had a totally different story. There was like some space war. And the because anime wasn't really known in the US at the time, in the English version they replaced it all with just like, Jason followed his pet frog Fred into a wormhole. And so this game weirdly, like, combines every version of Blaster Master lore into one amalgam. So it's a space war, but also frog. Um, yes. Basically, it, basically this is the all-star Blaster Master. Like, all-star Superman. It, it, it is. And actually, uh, Blaster Master Zero Two uh, goes even deeper and, like, throws in more lore. Uh, check out this spread art. Oh. That's Sophia. Now that is a big, beautiful tank. That is... It has a scouter. Yeah, it does look like it. <laughs> what does the scouter say? <laughs> I'm gonna... Sorry. I, oh. I would also like to point out that all Integrate's protagonists have, like, the same, I'm, like, Sasuke Uchiha hairstyle. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna... And I'm very sad because of who I am. Yeah. I just imagine how I could make the Sophia out of Gunpla parts, and I know what Gundams to use. Do it. I'm into this. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Blaster Master Zero, which is the... Uh, this is released in like 2017, I think, on the Switch. And it's like... Sort of a remake of the original NES game. So... Oh yeah, that's right. I, I have uh, filled up all these slots. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's take a really quick look at the extra stuff in here. Just because it has a lot of really fun DLC. So the EX character mode is kind of the most interesting. Where they brought in guest characters. So they have uh, Azure Striker Gunbolt. Yep. And they show you like the moves of the character. Ekoro from... Galgan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Galgan. And uh, Shantae. Um, a half-genie hero, you say? Yeah. Who dances in the dark? Elephant. And Shovel Knight, which because, for some reason has a very large section about copyright. Um, <laughs> honestly, Shovel... Look, I... Shovel Knight is the best character in this game, by the way. Um, 
uh, honestly, I'm going to say this here. Yeah? I'm I'm shocked that Shovel Knight is not a... I would be more shocked if Shovel Knight was not a DLC character. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to play just, like, the vanilla game. Like... Oh, yeah, that's right. There is a multiplayer mode, but it kind of sucks because it's, like, we each have, like, a Joy-Con. <laughs> and nobody wants to do it that way. Uh, no, I, I, I don't want to deal with that. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Is this one of those underground forest areas they made during... The last ice age? Hundreds of years have passed, but the ecosystem is alive and well. It would seem that the preservation system is still functioning somehow. Better still keep my guard up. Never know what could still be there. I love that they finally have like an NES text block that can fit all the sentences in it. Huh? Yeah, so this is like very faithful remake of the first zone of the original Blaster Master. With like they trick you with these games where the sprite art is very like limited and eight bit, but they do a lot of tricks that you could never do on the old like NES, like that parallax background. Yeah, no, like it looks it looks so good. Yeah. Also, like not something we can really express in Let's Play form, but they did a really good job on the uh, rumble like force feedback in this game, so that each attack has a nice punch to it. I heard that YouTube's installing a rumble feature into the YouTube algorithm soon. Oh man, I, I can't wait for that to malfunction. Yeah, no. Every I time, can only imagine. Every time a commercial pops up, your thing will just vibrate uncontrollably. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Um, so, so the the tank is called Sophia Three or Sophia the Third. I couldn't decide. Sophia Mark Three. Um, look, all I know is that the, we're in the, uh, Red Jacket look, era. a little person. Yay. You press the X button to hop in and out, and this was part of the original game, too, and I find it a really cool mechanic, personally. I, as kind of like a mecha nerd, I love the idea of characters who can fight in and out of their mech, and this uh. is kind of like that, but you go into these caves here, and... Boom Jam. And now it's suddenly a top-down shooter. Yeah, some really fantastic sprite art, honestly. He looks, uh, he looks uh, pretty swell, I would say. He looks like a Mega Man. <laughs> well, cause this is Integrate, so it's the developer that made uh, Mega Man Zero as well as Mega Man 9 and 10. And then later Gunvolt. So they they know their way around uh, Mega Man-ish stuff. Yeah. Oh. They love their Mega Mans. But uh, th this game feels a little bit like Mega Man at times, but it's really more of a Metroidvania. It's, I like I, I knew that this game existed because my uh, my ex girlfriend actually had it for NES, and I remember trying to play it at her apartment like <laughs> seven years ago. We got the map, and and I but I didn't get anywhere. I got like through the first part and got into the cave, and I'm like, what is this game even? And then I just put it down. But uh, then this game came out. And I played like the demo for it, and I thought it was really fantastic. And so before I even made it to the end of the demo, I was like, I'm buying this game. And I just put down the demo and just bought it on the eShop. Because it, it's like a bargain game, too. It's like $10 or something. Cheap. Well, I, you know, I, I'm going to be one of those people where, like, I strongly encourage people to support the game because there's a high possibility of getting a Blaster Master Zero Three, 3 and uh, I want it. So all of you need to help it happen. <laughs> um... Well, honestly, when I ever, whenever I have like chance at a game, and also I'm gonna get like two, I'm also gonna get a two hundred fifty, uh, two hundred fifty six gig card for my thing. Oh wow! Look, man, I'm I'm not dealing with space issues. Hey, for your switch, you mean? When yeah. You, when you get a switch. Yeah. I, I was gonna say one one of our friends uh, who's very into tech uh, gifted me, I think, something that big as well, and there's like no way I'm gonna fill it up. Uh, look, if I could get, like, a 512, then maybe, like, honestly, God, I'm looking at future space game, uh, games, like, I, like, I was actually looking at, uh, Wasteland 3 apparently is gonna be freaking 60 gigs. Is that gonna be on the Switch? No, but it's on, on PS4 or 5, uh, it's like 25 gigs, on PC it's gonna be fucking 60. I, I was gonna say, on, on PS4 I've already had to start, like, deleting games off my hard drive because I ran out of space. I bought a 4 terabyte hard drive because of that. Um, I need to. Uh, what killed me was Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, that game was big. I had to delete it off my thing after we did our, like, Let's Play of it. Uh, <laughs> no wonder we haven't done it! <laughs> well, no, you know, we could, like, wait for a half hour for it to reinstall and then go back to it. 
We could. I don't have it. With yeah, me right now. Dude, that's for later. We're doing Blaster Master. Either that, or I could just bring over my PS4. That's true, too. <laughs> but besides that... <laughs> Dude, I love the Switch, because it is so easy to do anything with. Like, you, you, you want to play it at home, or your friend's place, you can take the dock with you. Or you just... You want to bring it with you for a portable, you do that, too. It's so much easier than, like, shoving a huge console anywhere. Honestly, that's that seems like a really cool thing, and I would love to get one on my own sometime. I just gotta get back into the job stuff again when I have the chance, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, well, you know, current year has uh, made things difficult for all of us. Well, you know, that's why we have to do uh, all sorts of different things, and who knows, maybe things will improve, and, you know, we can then look forward to a bright future somehow. Yeah. Um, but no, I've just been doing other stuff recently besides that. Uh, I've been getting back into writing, which is nice, and I've oh, been yeah. trying to work on some writings here and there. Have you, like, posted that anywhere, or are you just working on it? Working on it. Uh, mostly the articles I do for fun to get me writing are, like, my little tw threads on Twitter, which do well. Um, and you can follow Dave at... Exalted Speed. And, uh, I, I actually recently brought my old, like, DeviantArt page back to life, uh, but uh, I'm not sure how... How into it I am at the moment, so we'll we'll save that for some other time. <laughs> no, I've been. Uh... It, it's it's only totally like it's like got like things that were posted like yesterday, but it's like DB for 14 years. I'm like, oh, yay. I actually ended up uh, ranking all my all the goblins from Spider-Man on it recently. So uh, yeah, the, the weapon system is kind of interesting in this game because you have if you hold the L button, you open up the menu and you've got a series of different weapons. Those are like the pink power-ups I've been getting. And they each actually do something unique, like the uh, arrowhead thing. So wait, it has a unique name, it's the Penetrator. The Penetrator! Yeah. I, I love the like kind of Mega Man-esque uh, diagram on the side, and they, they highlight which weapon it's attached to. So this is his, his blaster rifle, and then the uh, grenades are attached to his gauntlet. God, I can see that. They, they do it even better in the second one, <laughs> where he gets a cape. Because oh. capes are awesome. Well, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, like diffusion. That's like a shotgun, machine gun, reflector is a shield, and striker, which is oh god, it's a Azure nod. striker. It, yeah, it's, I was gonna say it's a nod to gunvolt because it's an electric weapon. That's what I kind of figured. Yeah, it, it creates is, has definitely become very self-referential. I'm, I'm glad they made it that far. I, I didn't know. Well, he's, that was striker, by the way. It hits uh, every enemy on screen once it hits one of them. And apparently it just hit something slightly off screen and nailed everything. Oh. Now we got the flamethrower. Flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the flamethrower is is very useful in certain situations. Uh, we're we're playing on normal mode right now, so we're free to use whatever guns we want. Like, yeah, this one has a range limit, then this one doesn't, and then this one pierces enemies. Daddy. Or you can just grenade them. But yeah, on harder difficulties, uh, yeah. specific weapons work better against enemies. Yeah. Well, actually, like, specific weapons are required against certain enemies. Uh. To the point that every enemy has its own weakness and can't be harmed by any other weapon unless it's your most basic weapon. Ah. Uh. Actually, we, we got full power. Alright, so this just breaks the game. It's the, uh, the wave beam. The wave! Straight out of Metroid. Just, just, yeah, <laughs> it's just the wave beam, and it's super strong, and doesn't really have any downside, and we've just broken the game. Screw you, gameplay balance. Who cares? There's the only... <laughs> although, although, I don't, I don't know, what, what do you say, Dave? Should, should I, like, ban myself from using this, uh, too much? Well, you already used it, so we can't really say... Okay, well, how I'm about not this? saying I'm not going to use it, I'm just saying I, like, try not to use it too Alright, unless, like, there's a really particularly hard part, you don't use it. How's that? Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's go with that. We'll, we'll make it the Blaster Master uh, Zero Challenge, because it really does kind of, like, break the game. <laughs> once, once you figure out how to hang on to it, because taking a hit causes you to lose one level off your rifle. Yeah, so... <laughs> so, unless you feel like you have to use it, yeah. you don't. I mean, heck, we could probably be playing on, like, ultimate mode, if not, uh... I, I feel like that would... It, it's okay to start with, but then it can get really frustrating later, and... <laughs> nah. Fair. Plus, 
Yeah. I always feel like Let's Play is kind of like sharing what your favorite games are with people. And I feel like it's a lot harder to share if it's just like, bleh. Man. Actually, that reminds me of really... One day we should do Digimon Cyber Sleuths because that's actually not a hot... Uh, look at this. The Lair of the Forest chart. Mother Brain. Mother Brain is back! Mother Brain! Mother Brain is back at this time! She's hungry. For boys. And frogs. Okay. What, wait, boys and frogs? Didn't we fight Mother Brain and Chrono Trigger? Oh, yeah. Mother Brain has been uh, branching out. <laughs> really, yeah. He's more of a plant than a, than a brain, honestly. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah, I did take a hit. So we did, we actually lost the plasma beam when I took that hit. Yeah. And I'm out of grenades. Okay. You. I damage you with. Yeah! Oh, no, she's Oh, this will do it. Chain lightning. You got Real Azure, Azure lightning. Azure striker. I mean, considering you can play as Gunvolt in this game. Uh, yeah, I don't want to switch. I to keep my machine gun. She's now hard again, but she's dead. She's very uh, has a hard brain head skull thing. She has the golden brain veins. Mm-hmm. But th this is uh, kind of what makes it like a Metroidvania. Is uh, we got the Hyper Shot. So basically we can destroy walls. Okay, so basically it gives us more options for uh, like finding stuff, essentially. Well, I... Like, you gotta we're... find Fred. Yay, Fred! Actually, wait, wait, do they have... No, they, they, they totally don't. They're, okay, so in the second game, there's like a hint system that's kind of like Metal Gear Solid's codec thing, only they have like really fantastic sprite art that shows the characters talking to one another when you do it. But I guess there's no one for Fred. Yeah. <laughs> no one for Jason to talk to. His name is Jason Frednick. Look, it's just him and Sophia. And Sophia's yeah. actually his mind trying to fill in the blanks on things. So if she's not actually there, he's just talking to himself alone in the void of space, trying to starve off loneliness. And this is my gritty fanfic of uh, Blaster Master. I hope everybody likes it. I mean, it kind of uh, feels like that. It's like the original Metroid where like Samus is just like by herself and it's like lonely. Well, that well, I should really tell you about my other Metroid fanfic. It's about her and this guy Adam, and she has to take orders from him all the time. I submitted it to Nintendo, but I don't know what happened to it. Hopefully it uh, never goes wrong. There's this one part where Adam also tells her not to use the thing that protects her from lava during a thing. Well, why would he do that? That I doesn't know. make any sense. I'm glad that they didn't make it way. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's the obligatory other M joke space cadets. <laughs> uh, yes. No, I couldn't resist. It was just... Um, uh, you, know, you know, if we... If we get, like, more regular with us trying to do this, like, maybe we'll get around to, like, doing other M or something. Um, yeah, we should totally do Mother M. It, it's I'm... not that long, so it's totally one that we could just, Well, like, the idea of the original... Make fun wasn't of. Wasn't the game we intended... go back and finish Metroid Prime, though. Wasn't the game actually intended to, like, be beaten by with one controller, essentially? Well, you can only... It only takes one Wiimote. It's yeah. a life up. So we increase the size of our life. Yeah, so um, we actually we have the map of the zone so we can see uh, any cave that has like the flashing kind of monster head over it indicates a boss is there and so you always want to go there. Any cave that doesn't is either like cleared or just like exists for power up purposes. Well, I'll say this, they actually fixed the map system from ZX. <laughs> Uh, as I say, it creates already fixed that in uh, ZXA. I know, but and they, I... they they let it stay fixed, unlike some games. Look, I'm just saying. Oh no! Like Mega Man ZX did not have a good map. It was very very pointless, honestly. Well, honestly, it's easier to just look up a guide that actually tells you. I just hated that in that game you had to activate the missions before you went on them, and so you could find situations where you would literally make it to the boss of a zone, and then the door wouldn't open because you didn't activate the mission. That is, that was really annoying. It's like, what was anyone? We had the lair of the Drap Trappers. Drap Trappers! 
Don't get caught in the trap trappers. So yeah, they, even though we're not playing on uh, ultimate mode or no destroyer mode, uh, they, every enemy still has a specific weakness, and this is theirs. We can shot at him. Okay. Like, honestly, this boss alone makes me not want to play destroyer mode, just because it is so tediously long to like hit them with a shotgun blast. Uh, in destroyer mode or? What? Uh, d d destroyer mode. Oh, the destroyer yeah. mode is the hard mode where the enemies can only be harmed by their weakness. No, I thought you said story mode. I'm like, yeah, well, I was calling it ultimate mode, but I was wrong because ultimate mode is the one where it's like a new game plus where you start with the ultimate stuff. All right, and you're basically like, I'm gone. Oh yeah, you just barrel through the game. Actually, playing as one of the EX characters also is kind of like that because. Uh, like, the tank still gets its regular power-ups, but the characters start with all their abilities. So, you can basically just hop out of the tank and run crazy as Gunvolt. <laughs> and he just plays like he does in his own game. Yay, you can use a new sub-weapon! We just have to ask, where's your dong weapon? Alright. Uh... I don't know how to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, my terrible, my terrible jokes are yeah. are here to stay, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep, Dave's terrible jokes will always be here. <laughs> stay tuned for more terrible jokes, Space Cadets. Uh, next day, next time on Alan Dave's Drifted.